It was here in Canberra's old Parliament House where Warren Snowden began his journey in 1987. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And in the new Parliament, he'll end it. Life in the old Parliament House was so, so far different from what you lucky buggers have got here. From his early days alongside Prime Minister Bob Hawke to the Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard government years, Snowden has been a survivor, winning all but one election for his vast Northern Territory seat in 35 years. In a wide-ranging speech, he spoke of his highs and his greatest regrets. So I've sought to have this place understand the need to address the injustices experienced by Aboriginal people and have their rights as First Australians properly recognised and addressed and their needs met. But if I look at the last past 32 years in this place, the outcomes sadly have been often very frustrating and sadly disappointing. Outside Parliament, he says he'll find it hard to detach from the role when he retires at the upcoming election. The idea of coming to terms with not doing the job anymore uh, is, I'm finding it a bit hard to be truthful, but it's, you know, it's time to move on. The Labor MP's long tenure means he's still eligible for a superannuation scheme scrapped nearly 20 years ago, allowing him three quarters of his annual salary every year for the rest of his life. It's changed. Would I still be a Member of Parliament if the old scheme wasn't in place? Of course I would, because being a Member of Parliament is what it's about, not the super scheme. Mr Snowden's retirement means that for the first time in decades the seat of Lingiari will be held by a fresh face, either Labor candidate and former NT Government Minister Marion Scrimger or former Alice Springs Mayor Damien Ryan. At this stage it's still unclear what the departure of the man with the mo will mean at the ballot box. Matt Garrick, ABC News.